Hey guys, so Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I have a video sort of just concerning some, I wouldn't say news, but it's more of a speculation video for the Battlefield Hardline Getaway DLC. Now, I've got this question like 12 or 15 times, and it's, is the Getaway DLC going to be free? Uh, many of you are probably asking this because the Blackout DLC was free. In this video, I will answer your question. But before I get into that, just like to say that if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Battlefield Hardline content. I already uploaded three videos today with gameplay of the new weapons and sort of just going over all of them. I have gameplay of the weapons, again, in the background. And I also have a straw poll that will be linked down below in the description asking you which guns you would like me to review first. So you can click on that down below in the description, vote, and then I'll catch you guys when you come back to watch this video. But for those of you that don't feel like watching that straw poll, go over and subscribe to Danny on PC, who he provided this gameplay for me. I'm not at my house currently, I'm on a trip, so he was nice enough to supply me with this gameplay, so don't forget to go over and check out his channel, which will also be linked down below in the description. Now, if you guys remember back to the Robbery DLC, they brought out 11 weapons, I believe, and 7 of them were free. And the Robbery DLC was the Assault DLC, sorry, the Operator DLC, thinking of Battlefield 4 terms, the Operator DLC, and the first DLC, Criminal Activity, was an Enforcer DLC. Now, this Getaway DLC is the Mechanic DLC, and of the 12 new weapons we are getting, 5 of them are either for the mechanic or our PDWs, but the one um, SMG slash PDW that is all class is the MP5 SD, and I believe that'll be free. Um, this is because all the other ones are for the mechanic only, and um, like I said, if you remember back to the criminal activity and the robbery DLC, the weapons that were in the DLC um, were only for the operator or only for the enforcer so the weapons that you'll have to pay for uh, the $15 DLC or if you have premium you already paid for it and you can get these um, are the Beretta M12 SMG the Aug Para the MP5 Navy and the UMP9 so currently right now the MP5 Navy and the Beretta M12 are two of the highest um, as far for voting for you guys to review uh, for me to review first but yeah, so those are the four weapons that I believe you'll have to pay for. And the weapons that you'll probably be getting for free are the SAR-21 Operator Weapon, the M12 Mod 1 Enforcer DMR, the M14 Sage Enforcer Battle Rifle, which looks really sick, the AWS uh, Sniper, which is a suppressed version of the AWM, the 1887 Shotgun, which I did a specific video on this morning, the MP5 SD, SMG, the G17 Ray Sidearm, and the SRS Suppressed Sniper. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this informative video. Just thought I'd make a separate video because I've had like 12 or 15 comments on it. Having to do the same answer for those comments every single time is frankly quite annoying, but that's all the information I have for the DLC right now. So don't ask too many more questions about the DLC, just simply because as soon as I get any more information, I will bring you guys a video out right away. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and don't forget to drop a like on the video. But I'll see you guys next time.